Daddy has a cigarette problem. It's yucky. It's nasty. I know. So let's get into the second part. I wanted to make this a two-part video. And here we go. DDLG, what is a daddy dom? And that is the topic. The, the more of a dominant, submissive um, relationship. Let me go ahead and turn off my phone here. Because I am constantly getting uh, messages. DDLG um, can be any age, any gender, or sexuality. And that could be asexual, pansexual, bisexual, whatever you are. Um, but practice at age 18 and plus, please. You can have a caregiver that's non-sexual, but that's not what I'm talking about. Just calling your boyfriend or husband daddy, it's just something that may turn a guy on, but it's not the same. Uh, there is nothing wrong with that, but since the, it's bedroom play rather than a lifestyle, because a daddy or a mommy dom, this is not a kink, it is who we are. As for age, a dom or a sub B, well, now that's a good question. And of course, I'm gonna have to say any age over 18 because I am putting myself into the community and, and I do feel like that, really, because you can't be a little if you already a little in real life, but I'll keep, I'll keep mentioning that. Um, because a little at 14 is a real life little. You're already a little. Like, you are still in that. The, that's who you are and your age. So, that's just the way that is. Um, you should probably just grow up and not look for anything but other than your own age. And a dom at 16 shouldn't be choking anything but his pencil at school and his pillow at night. Just say it. Also, not every daddy prefers to be called daddy. They may be preferred to be called, you know, give them a pet name. Um, or you could just call them Sir, Mr., uh, Poppy, Dada, Poppy Bear, Daddy Bear. Depends on your little age and what you want to call your daddy and what he's comfortable with. There is no set rules in a relationship. So it's just how you create it. Um, if that's with a pet play, diaper play, BDSM, or any kink you m may want to experience or act on with your partner or your daddy, um, or your little, either way, you talk to them and let them know what you're interested in. Um, if you want to experience things with your partner, and it just depends on how open they are, but usually in a DDLG relationship everybody is usually open-minded to anything because they want to please their partner because the, the DDLG is totally different from a lot other things um, as myself I wanted to be with someone that can someone that can and will submit to me for me you know, I need to make the rules, I need to set guidelines and make the decisions with most of everything. It could be what we have for dinner, what she is going to wear, or what time we will go, what time she's going to go to bed. Because she can't go to bed without me um, as a punishment, or I just have to go to work at night, or she has to be up early. A DDLG lifestyle is not only about sex. Which a lot of people may think it is, but it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's like a power exchange between the two. Many DDLG couples are in intimate romantic relationships and carry on with their basic and kink lives together, just like vanilla couples do. Also, submission can be shown in many other ways, and that's not. And that's for you and your partner to discuss. So if you are asexual and or you can most definitely carry on this type of a relationship.
So I guess we'll end it with what makes a good daddy or a mommy? That is a good question. Everyone has their own opinions, but the main thing for a daddy or a mommy could be is, like I said, the number one is patience. It's just patience. Your little, I'll get into the age groups of three different kinds, your baby, your little, and your brat. Brats need the most patience out of all three. Your baby, you just have to baby them. Your little, you have to play with them a lot. And brats, you have to punish them. But of all, you have to have patience with them. Um, they will defy you. They will talk back to you. And you have to let them know what they're doing wrong and what they need to do right. A good daddy would be somebody that cares for them in a way that they've never been shown and that's the difference in our relationships than a regular relationship um, a dom and a sub relationship is almost the same as i explained previously it's just maybe they're not into that you know you know i i may be a daddy dom that's just who i am but i don't have to be with a little I don't have to, but I have to have a sub. So when when I'm looking for someone, I'm not looking for them to um, want to call me daddy, want to cuddle up with a stuffy. It has nothing to do with that. I just need someone to submit to me. And the way I treat them is just the way who and how I am and how I perceive myself in a relationship. I let them know in advance and normally every sub loves the attention and they're not going to have a problem with my rules. They're not going to have a problem with the punishments. So they don't have to be a little for me. So those two things is a different step in a different direction. For a good daddy or mommy, someone that doesn't take advantage of their submissive someone that brings life into them pushes them in a direction that they need to be going if they slack off or if their dominant thinks that they need to have a better job they need to help them build their confidence and tell them it's okay they're here they have their support and that it to whatever that they want to do that their dom will be here for them brought out in a way that they can fully trust their dom and fully understand what they're trying to say and get their attention and have their talks their their tell them their philosophy and just be a good person to them much respect I'm sure there's more to it, but that's just where I'm going to stop at. Um, it gives me more ideas on other topics, but I'm not going to leave this one as long as it is. So um, if you enjoyed it, comment, subscribe. If you have another topic, put it down below.